In today's Minecraft Hardcore video, we are going to be attempting to survive 100 days in better Minecraft. This has been one of the most highly requested 100 day survival videos for me to do. So I'm going to finally give it to you guys. This mod pack is honestly awesome. There's new dimensions. There's custom structures. It's literally just Minecraft with the facelift. It's always needed. And if you guys go on to enjoy this video, make sure you guys smash that like button, hit subscribe, join the Paul GG army. And here's to 100 days of better Minecraft Hardcore. But before we get into today's video, guys, I want to thank today's sponsor, myself, along with Makeshift, for making the Paul GG V2 plushie. If you guys did not know, we are doing another plushie. He's adorable, he's awesome, and he's even in a little Minecraft boat wearing a little hoodie and everything. So that's not all because he is also fully detachable from the boat itself, so that then you can be able to play with him, put him up, I don't know, an elf on a shelf, basically, if you really wanted to. And the way that Makeshift works is that if we sell 200 of these things to hit the goal, everybody can get their plushie if not then everybody gets refunded that bought one and then i'm the only person on the planet that has this amazing little plushie so make sure you guys go check out the paul gg v2 plushie with the link down in my description now on to the rest of the video all righty day one here we go and oh oh my that is that's quite the <laughs> quite the better minecraft this first 100 days that we're gonna do here is literally gonna be me just being like "Ooh, ah what's this Ooh, hello soccer log okay this isn't even like the the traditional like 1.20 cherry blossom grove wood this is different wood entirely there's definitely a lot that i'm gonna have to learn first things first though let's get a wooden pickaxe and then what is that it's calcite okay but it just looks better There we go. Now we got some tools. Definitely want to go see what this giant mushroom is all about. I also literally just realized we have a mini map in the top right. Um, can I do anything with that? Wait, what the heck was that? What did I just do? What the heck, dude? I'm laying down. Find me crawling through the leaves. Gonna find our next target. Oh my gosh. And there's also a floating island. Up. Oh, wow. That thing is loaded. What the heck? First things first. Uh, giant mushroom. Um, looking like we got some mobbies. Okay. And then there's spawners as well in there. I don't know what kind of spawner that is. Maybe like a creeper spawner or something. This can definitely give me some juicy XP though. I could turn it into like a farm later. So I'm definitely not gonna like destroy the uh, spawner or anything. All right, brother, really, really, really? We're two seconds into this. What is that? I got an experience nugget. This nugget's been, been through some things. Oh my God. Chickpea, what did they do to you? Chicken the long way is what he is. What the heck? This is beautiful. Can we talk about how, where this is? Like, why did Minecraft, that, like, why did it have to put me in, like, the most beautiful looking spawn ever? Hello? Like, I'm, I hate to be the guy that's like, oh, let's just play you know house simulator where we spawn but holy crap i could definitely live here what the heck is that it's a boar more like food for me baby sheesh come here come back here okay after killing a couple things now i realize that there's not very much things that i can actually eat oh and then it looks like we got some sort of special new structure over here oh looks like we got a structure right here as well what the heck is this there's literally a spider bro hit me through the rock I'm good. Need to make sure I stock up on all the food that I can get, though. Ooh, and get some coal to cook it up. Oh, and I was going to say we should, uh, we should hide out in this little watchtower for the night, but I, I, now I see what kind of watchtower it is. You know, we're still going to hide out inside that watchtower for the night. Just uh, give me a second, boys. All right, now that we got some cooked food, let's get some regen going. And let's see what's popping over here in this little watchtower. In a perfect world, what I would do... If I can get some resources out of this thing, like I would love to be able to go to sleep. Excuse me. Um, nothing too good. Except all this food that I will be taking. My only thing is I don't know if they respawn here like a normal pillager tower. Oh, yeah, we got another uh, pillager over here. If they respawn like it's a normal pillager tower, then this could be a problem to spend the night here. But it's not looking like they are respawning. Ooh, nice little bridge over there. We're going for some of the string that's down here inside of whatever the heck this thing was. Because I need... Oh, wait. Actually, I think that's literally wool right there. Because all I need is a couple of wool and then we're easy peasy, got a bed, and then we can be able to explore. There's just so much world that I want to explore and I'm way too impatient to wait for it to turn daytime. There's a spider spawner literally in this thing too. So that explains a lot. Oh my God. What am I getting stuck on? I'm getting 
sucked around in there. Oh my gosh. Just need one more wool. And I'm going to get rid of the spider spot. Oh, hey, never mind. You can keep it. And now that we got a bed to take with us, we can finally go on a real adventure. What is that? I'm scared of the ocean in this game. I feel like I've been so scarred from RL craft and playing that. It makes me terrified of going in the water. Ooh, bread. We'll take it. Uh, iron helmet and an iron sword. I see some more rafty looking things over there as well. But first things first, tower. Okay, mystery tower. What do you got for me? Ooh, some food as we got. Hopefully this isn't trapped. Oh my gosh, it's loaded. And then there's literally a bed up here too. Uh, okay. And a chest. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, sure. We'll take that. That definitely feels too cheap to be living in this thing. I mean, as, as cool as it is and as perfect as it is to live in, but we still need to do some more exploring. There's a whole lot of world and other dimensions that we need to see. And I got to take my G fuel along with me on this adventure too, baby. Make sure you guys are using code PaulGG at checkout when you get yourself some of that swanky G fuel. Now that we got a little bit of iron, we can make uh, pants. There you go. Now we're not painless. And now that we got some food cooked up and a bit of armor, uh, uh, I got stung by something. That was like a jellyfish. Anyways, as I was saying, now it's time to go back on it, a little bit of an adventure, explore the land, see what kind of other biomes we could find, avoid snakes, apparently. And more importantly, also try to find a place to live because there's just so much with this mod pack that it's going to feel really endless in the amount of things that we can do and the amount of like adventures that we could go on. So, I mean, we could potentially turn this into a pretty big series. So guys, drop a like on this video. Let me know if you enjoy it and also comment down below and let let me know if you guys want to see more 100 days or I mean 50 hour survival challenges in better Minecraft something like that oh my god is that the cappy bar oh god oh my gosh that thing actually just ripped one what the heck dude Not enough with the land travel it's time to hit the ocean and kind of explore this a decent bit because it looks really cool is that thing gonna kill me that thing is huge what is that that thing's like a shark oh my god there's like a, there's a bunch of them maybe the ocean was bad idea what the heck it's like, a, it's like a message in a bottle this bottle lies a wish for fortune and prosperity to find its way to you oh wait there's a uh, little ruined portal down here too is this the fortune it was talking about uh fortune one on a shovel there it is got that fortune i keep seeing these floating island things too over the ocean now, I, I definitely want to explore one pretty soon oh land ho land ho that's definitely enough ocean commotion in the in my lifetime i'll be honest that's this place is terrifying with all those giant fishies we definitely need to just find a place to settle down now and yeah, now this should be a perfect place to live because we got the village right there i can easily just build a bridge we could call it a trade route by that i mean i'll be trading villagers from over there to go over here and then they'll be living over here and working for me over here and this gives us plenty of room to work with we're on like our own little island in a way and we even got chickpea what's up it's a regular chickpea too it's not chickpea the long way i mostly just want to clear out the inventory because it's getting pretty full i'm gonna craft up a couple of chests one that we could throw all of our valuables in and the other that we could just leave food in and now we're gonna have to do a bit of cave exploring first of all i want to know what's below what we're gonna be building our base at but on top of that, we're going to need a whole lot of stone. And then we'll also get some wood and stuff as well. Ooh, now that's looking like a nice little cave entrance right there. Except it is insanely dark, bro. Oh my gosh. And why is that? Oh, it's the... Okay, well, that took care of that. I need coal. I, I desperately need coal. I need to make some torches bad. Are you coal? That is coal. There we go. Now I got some torches. So now I can actually see in the cave. People that always ask me, Paul, why don't you play with shaders? This is exactly why. I can't see anything in this cave. Ooh, what kind of stone is that? It looks like cobblestone. It's diorite. Oh, Doritos. They made it. Oh, they actually made it look way better. This looks like it would make like good a uh, pathway, like a rocky road. Not the ice cream. All right. My fat brain went to that too. Oh, okay. Oh, oh wait. Hold on. There's silverfish stone thing also. So some of those diorites laced with silverfish. Ooh, sheesh, this cave's getting deep. Ow. I assume this is lapis. Yep, lapis lazuli. I ran out of torches. I still got coal, but I don't got wood. Oh no, now I'm lost. I can't see anything. All of the shiny. 
Thank you, gold. That's all right, though, because now I can just come back up to the surface and start dropping some stuff off. And now that I also got some wood, I can now craft up plenty of torches for our cave adventures. Ooh, and then also I could actually plant down some of these cherry blossom saplings so then we can be able to have the a cherry grove on our side of the river also. But now that I know that there's all these different like resources down, okay. In the caves, I wanna make sure I gather up plenty of different flavors so that we got a good variety to work with when building up our, our base and everything. mining hall time to go over pretty much all the things that we got we got a bunch of diorite because like i said i think diorite will look really good for like roads and like pathways one thing i am brother uh, brother anyways as i was saying one block that i am curious of is this like blue knight is it literally uh, like it's just kind of blue cobblestone right that's kind of all it is Ooh, that looks kind of good Ooh, this block looks real smooth and it looks really good also with the pink cherry blossom. The blue knight is kind of like a bit of a rare block. Like I didn't see that much of it down there. And then of course we also did get some diamonds. I managed to craft up a diamond pickaxe and we do actually have three more diamonds that we could craft up like an ax with it. Now for building out a house and actually just the entire base in general, what I plan on doing is essentially building it out on this like kind of more flat planes and then and going up there we'll have like kind of like a temple or like a palace with like a you know waterfall and little i don't know stuff uh it's gonna be sick that's all i do now to we'll start off by building out kind of the pathway in which i'll be pretty much like laying this thing out as pretty as all this grass is making this uh this open field feel it needs to go it's just it's gonna get in the way it's gonna get me upset there we go. Now we got a nice big flat area for building this thing up, which the house itself I'm going to put right here. I'm going to start off by mixing some like different flavors of stone and creating kind of like a platform for the house. Oh, what the heck? What was that? What, what is that? The blocks, these blocks like merge together. That's so sick. Oh, except diorite and, and cobblestone don't mix. Hmm. Mm. There we go. Now we got the slab for the house all set up and ready. What I do want to do is kind of create like a little outline of the platform. Hmm, potentially out of stripped logs. I feel like this just doesn't blend that well when, uh, when these logs are like this. Like with every other log, I feel like it looks really good, except for the cherry blossom wood. And eh, we'll see how this goes. Might just be wasting a ton of wood. Now, usually I'm not one for mixing woods in Minecraft because when you mix up too much woods, it starts looking a little funky. But I think if I use too much of the cherry blossom wood, like if I start stripping the logs and making it pink and then also doing pink for the uh, planks in the floor, then I think it's just gonna be way too much. We're gonna try a little bit of oak and see how it goes. Because the the other option is to pretty much just, well, leave it stone. I could just fill it in with more stone. And now this is where we're going to be doing some big time experimenting here. Trying to see kind of what is going to mix and match the best. Hmm. Yeah, because the one on the right, it's a little bit too much pink. This just kind of stands out. Honestly, this would make a great looking floor now that I think about it. We're swapping this out real quick. Uh, honestly, we might also just have too many flavors in the kitchen right now. Yep, no, I'm definitely right. I'm going to have to make the executive decision here to just basically do stone for the floor all the way through. There we go. Now that's kind of an aesthetic that we can work with. Pretty much just putting like stone behind the pink so that then the pink just isn't kind of overwhelming. It's got to basically do that on all the walls now. Also changed up the, the railing around the base as well. I need to kind of finish it up. It looks like a lot of pink, but I think this will tie together once I get the roof on it.
There we go. We got the first level all filled in and done. So the entryway, obviously, it's pretty pink. Then the inside, we got our windows that have uh, uh, trap doors on the outside. So that hopefully then mobs can't really shoot me through the holes or anything. No skeletrons. Oh, and then this is the best part. This is uh, how I get up and down. Um... <sighs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, there will be a second floor. I just need to figure out how exactly we're getting up and down it. Well, I'm definitely vibing with this aesthetic so far. It's definitely working. It's a lot different than what I'd normally build. And now next thing I want to do is kind of work on the roof, which is going to be a little bit tricky with the way that I'm envisioning it. However, it should be possible. And there we go. Pretty much the entire exterior of the house is all finished up with. Honestly, the roof looks amazing. I got to pat myself on the back. I've never built a roof quite like this, and it looks awesome. I like this like texture of mixing the uh, stripped logs with the planks, but while all you know what I'm saying? Regardless with the outside all finished, now we just need to work on the inside a little bit because it's looking... Uh, pretty bare and I want to add another level what I could do is build up like a spirally type staircase I gotta be honest I don't know how much better Minecraft is when I gotta do this and like deal with these slabs turning sideways every two seconds it's insanely triggering like where am I placing this where am I placing that right now where's that going where'd that go did that just okay now I have all my slabs back it's doing it again. I'm getting upset. Thousands of tears later. New staircase. Who this? Decided to just put it flush against the wall because I actually got it to fit perfectly in between each window. So now we can finally build the what? second floor. I hate these slabs. What? Oh my god. Nani? Oh, dude. Now, oh my gosh. That, that is literally better Minecraft. What the heck? The fences cut corners? Holy, what mod is that? I'm making a circle right now. All right, there we go. Now we got the inside all set up. Basically just got this nice little corridor type uh, uh, roofy looking thing so that the bottom floor doesn't feel so caved in. I'm gonna have to torch up around the house for now also until we got some lanterns. And now all we really need to do is just pretty much move into this bad boy and move all of our stuff from our little base camp over here. And then we're pretty much all set for our starter base. Now that we're officially all moved into our house and all of our things are in our chest sorted and everything, now it's time to begin some ah, adventuring. Hey, how you doing? What you selling, boy? Ooh, fragile charm of collector's gift. That is a lot of emeralds, but that mean that must mean it's really good. Also, a really cool looking music disc. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's like, uh-huh, uh-huh, you had to buy it, mm-hmm. Yeah, look, I'm broke, all right, relax. Anyway, so as I was saying, though, time to go on some adventures. What I want to do is first, I want to explore a dimension that's always been in Minecraft, that being the nether, so that then I can be able to gather some resources and explore some other dimensions that aren't normally in Minecraft, but are in better Minecraft. So what I want to do is head down into the caves so that then we can be able to find some lava that then we can turn into obsidian and make another portal. Problem is, I'm just kind of um, not really seeing any lava. Um, actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I ever saw any lava in this cave other than like the, the one lava that was up at the entrance. Hello, lava. Do you know where more lava is? Hmm? Perhaps? Onto the surface, you say? <laughs> that just means that, uh, yeah, I don't feel like running around in a cave right now because I've spent a lot of time in a cave already and I want to explore a little bit more of the outside world where it's beautiful, it's green, it's luscious. And also, I got a mini map, so I should be able to see if there's any, like, surface level lava. Actually, I think I see something right now on the mini map that could be helpful. At the top left there, it looks like it's either going to be some orangey trees like that or it's going to be a nether portal. And it's looking like it was just some orange trees. Psych! Mm. Ooh, wait, nope. Actually, I was right. <laughs> so we're gonna grab this obsidian. Ooh, a looting two knife. It does like no damage, but hey, we'll take it. And also all the obsidian. Very, very slowly. There we go. Now that should be all the obsidian from that portal. Now, before we head back home and uh, build up this portal to hop in the nether, I want to go around town real quick and do some exploring and see what's kind of near us. I'm seeing another giant cave entrance right here that's looking nice and juicy. But what I'm also curious about... Hi, how are you? Ooh, 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 ooh. You're a monster! 
is uh, going around the village and seeing what's near the village. Because when I came back to the village while building up my house to get some food, I noticed that there's also a snowy area over here. Oh my god, what is that thing? Looks like it's a little mouse. It's actually insanely adorable. Holy crap. All cute things must come to an end. We got to figure out what you drop. And he drops seeds. All right. Nice. Okay, now I'm curious. What is a snake drop in this? What you giving? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Snake snake. Okay. And he drops nothing. All right, cool. Ooh, now what is that? It seems we've found a little castle-y type thing. Hopefully this thing's not like trapped or anything like that. So far, all the buildings that we've gone in have seemed safe. Ooh, it's like a little blacksmith area. Take all that coal. Thank you. Also take this. Thank you. Take that. Thank you. Uh, we got a brush. We got some scoots. We got a cookie god. And I'm definitely taking the pink bed because that's literally a Paul GG bed. Ooh, a brew stand. Instant damage potion. I don't think I want that, but I do want the brew stand. And nothing up top except we do see another cool little bridge. Oh my god. Exploring? This is actually so fun. However, finding those little structures... Oh my god, I thought he was coming at me. What do you drop, huh? What do you, what do you drop now? It dropped. Oh my god! What is that? Oh, that was his tail. Okay, it was a lizard. Mm-hmm, that makes sense. Anyways, finding these structures are actually really neat out in the wild. and Definitely could save a life. In fact, we should probably head home, though. Because I think I'm wandering a little bit too far. Now that we're back home, though, it's time to set up everything to go to the nether. I'm going to need some gold arm. Bruh. I forgot I'm wearing gold boots. Anyways, going to go ahead and throw those in there. We can just go ahead and build our nether portal over here in the little peaceful tree area that we've created. I didn't mean to put that right there. God dang it. There we go. Now all we need to do is get some flint. So I need some gravel, which I think I remember seeing some gravel like somewhere in the... What in the heck is that? It's time to investigate. Ooh, and I also found the gravel. The heck? Oh, it's an ant. Okay, so this is like a little ant hill. What do I feel like this wasn't here before? Is it just slowly expanding? Is that what's happening? Look, I don't got any problems with ant gang or anything, but I'm just saying if you guys are expanding, we're going to have some beef, boy. Oh, he's upset, isn't he? He's looking at me. You upset about that? Hmm? Here, I'll leave him one of these, all right? Oh, no, he's coming for me. He wants the smoke. <laughs> Look here, guy. I'm just going to get some gravel, okay? <laughs> all right, you know what? You, you're going to get it. What do you drop, huh? What do you drop? Oh, you're going to drown. No! Okay, anyways. Life goes on. Yoink! Got my flint. Time to head back home. I also need to make sure I continue to add these, like, pebbles to my pathway to make it look nicer okay getting off topic flint and steel and time for the nether oh whoa 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 sheesh looking crispy and now let's hope we just don't die in here okay we're in the soul sand valley and we already got a bastion achieved nice we're awesome bro what is that what is that what am i hearing what is that am i gonna die to any of this what is the smoke <laughs> holy oh no 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 I got withered by the stupid uh, thing. Okay, we're fine. Come cool and collected. Before we go back in that nether, I'm definitely gonna wanna try to craft up like some golden apples or something. So if, you know, there's an emergency, I could just pop one of them bad boys. I'm gonna chop down a bunch of oak trees in hopes that they give me some of that juicy uh, apples. Oh my gosh, I'm going through my diamond axe so fast. I forgot like when you're chopping these logs like this and it destroys the entire tree for you, it's like an entire tree's worth of damage. Now we should be good on apples. Check it out, only craft four golden apples anyways. Um, um, next thing I want to do is craft up like some healing potion goblin traders. Interesting. So you'd be able to buy from a goblin trader. Regardless, I'm going to need some glistering melons if I'm going to want to craft up some healing potions. I, I'm just trying to be as safe as possible because there's clearly a lot of danger in the nether. A lot more than usual, that is. And I probably seem like an absolute sissy over this, but I just don't. I just want to be careful. We are on hardcore mode and I don't got any totems. There's some weird biome mixing going on over here. We got like this stony area in the middle of an acacia forest and then also like a miniature desert in the middle of an acacia forest. And better Minecraft better be giving me some melons. I think I just saw something on top of this mountain also. What is that up there? Looking like a building maybe. That's oh, pillagers. It's the little baby pillager outpost again. Maybe, just maybe we can get a totem. When I doubt that we're going to be able to get an evoker to just spawn by himself. But if I could get like uh, the bad omen, we could run a raid. I'm not seeing any bannermen spawning. 
Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, my gosh. No. Ooh, bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. Bobbing and weaving. Yep. Yep. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. We're calm, cool, and collected. Ain't even sweating it. Bro wants the smoke. He's going to get it. There we go. And what you got? Crossbow, some gold, some more apples, no melons. Well, 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 what do we have here? Perhaps a well? Um. Okay. Oh, there's a thing. Oh, yup, yup. Secrets. And it's iron nuggies. More of a team tendy gang, but it's okay. But we're just gonna chalk this up as an L and head back home because clearly we're not getting any melons on this adventure. So it's looking like going back in the nether, we're gonna have to be very careful. So let's just hop back in the nether and yeah, risk it all. Just gotta be very, very slow and very, very careful. I do wanna go to the bastion at some point. I just, I don't know what that is. And also what's those leaves behind it? Hello there. Oh my God. Just get the crap out of me. He's green. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, that thing already sees me. Oh, my God. They're making crazy noises, and I don't like it. Um, What is that? Okay, it's like a mineable thing. I don't know. I'm kind of scared of it. Oh, my God. Th that thing is still following me. What the hell just exploded? Okay, that withers. That wither thing's been following me this whole time. I've been hearing it. Oh, my God. It's climbing. All right, we're, we're putting this thing down. Nope. I can't even hit it. Okay. Oh, it shot something. Okay, I killed it. Oh my God, I'm so scared. This thing is terrifying. What do I get out of it? XP, oh my gosh, sick. Oh my God, what is that? It's looking at me. Is it? Oh, it's gone. All right, cool. We're, we're leaving. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make a lava bucket. After I scoop up some lava, that is. Then we're gonna make our way into this bastion where now we could use the lava bucket on all the piglin brutes. Just like so. Oh, ah. That's fine. That's all right. So now I could loot the chest for free and get all this stuff. Blue obsidian. Okay, well, that's new. Ooh, a diamond shovel. We'll definitely be taking that. And of course, we got to get all the gold out of this thing as well. Yeah, so then we could be able to do some trades. Actually, if I break this block right here. Oh, God. Okay, well, you're not who I thought you were. Go ahead and get the rest of those gold if you don't mind here, sir. And we'll just take care of him. And just like that, we performed the greatest heist in uh, the history of Minecraft. Ow. Okay, we got some new things we need to learn about. So blue obsidian, better nether. Wow, so they already changed the nether by adding more chaotic stuff like that. And then on top of that, now there is a better nether that I could be able to make. I assume a normal portal. And then I know that I also need to get glowstone while I'm in here to be able to go to another dimension on top of that as well. So let me just very carefully build up to some glowstone. If I fall from here, I'm dead. There's literally a gas right there. Oh my gosh, dude. Why is all the glowstone got to be up in the sky? Okay, I got to take care of this gas. He's starting to scare me. And he's gone. All right, taken care of. Now let's just mine up this. And while I'm here, I'm also going to try to do some trades with some piggy boys. Might as well get this over with. Okay, so blue crying obsidian. Not sure what I could do with that. Uh, probably for a respawn a respawn anchor in the better nether. Okay, my inventory is way too full for all this. Um, what the hell is even that? Yeah, brother, I don't know. You just gave me a car part. What is that? A gilded blackstone shard. Okay. Oh, you could throw that. I just beamed my boy in the head. All right, looks like they're out of gold. We pretty much got everything that we needed. I needed ender pearls, cool, check. We got blue obsidian, cool, check. We got glowstone and regular obsidian. So now it's time to head back home, finally. <laughs> Taking it slow in the nether is so painful. Oh my God, one of those things followed me. I don't know what it is, but I, you know what? We know the We know the drill. What do you drop? Okay, I just nuked it, literally. Oh, it drops glowstone. I could have just gotten glowstone by nuking those little things. Now that we're back from the nether with an empty inventory, we're going to actually go right back in the nether. Um, But not this portal. Because I'm tired of the stupid soul sand valley and I want to be able to explore the nether a bit better. Preferably, what I want to find is actually like another fortress so that then I can be able to get blaze rods. Unless there's some other sort of mob or something like that that'll actually give me blaze rods. Uh, here's that little desert area that we found earlier in the acacia biome we could go ahead and use this spot to build up our portal and now let's just light it up and hop on in and see where we are i do have a potion of fire resistance primed and ready never know it looks like we're just deeper what is that no dude no no 
Get away from me. 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 <sighs> All right. We're moving this. I wanted to get away from the Soul Sand Valley. We got deeper into the Soul Sand Valley. Okay, so I'm going to run the opposite way. All right, now we should be plenty far enough away. Ah! Okay. Do you just eat anything? He, what? He really does. Okay, that's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Anyways, uh, before we jump into there, one thing I did realize is that I actually did find a, a little jungle biome, which means that we could get some melons. Oh, look at that. Melons. Perfect. And now let's hop back on into the nether again. Please, no soul sand valley. Okay. Still a little bit soul sandy, but it's, it's very different. Holy crap, this is terrifying. Oh my god, I hate those things. There's one of my portals. Okay. <laughs> Instead of going in the opposite direction, I kind of just ran further in the same direction. Oh my god, I have such a swollen brain idea. Like, my brain is so fat right now. I'm actually going to run in the opposite direction this time, but first I'm going to get some of this obsidian right here. And then now I'm going to go back through the portal that I made earlier, and this is going to teleport me way further in the overworld. I just got to be careful of those stupid things. Oh, they already saw me. They already saw me. Go, 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 go. Oh my gosh, it didn't even make a new portal. It literally just spit me out where the portal was. What the heck? Now we've gone pretty far in the opposite direction. There's the portal that we raided earlier. And then, okay, what the heck? Free lanterns. I mean, sure, I'll take it. I don't know why these things uh, running through this forest. There's like a bunch of free lanterns everywhere. Maybe this forest is spawn proof for uh, mobs. I don't know. But either way, I'm taking these lanterns. Is this a Sakura village? This thing looks insane. There's literally like a palace up there that just like naturally generated on a cliffside. There's like all these little buildings and stuff like that. They're like little hay bale type you built. Ah. Oh, that looks like someone got exiled and had to build their own house outside the village. Hold on, I want to get up to that top building. That top building looks awesome. But look at this. Why is this house got to be so much cooler than mine? Also, where the village is at? Huh? There's like one villager like down there. Okay, we got like an upstairs section. Badlands minor outpost map and an ancient city map. You can get an ancient city map. That is so cool. Hey, how's it going? What's your name? Craig, Craig, is this your humble abode? It's like, it's like a full on like restaurant, actually. There's like a bell, you ring the bell. There's like a, a bar counter. There's like little uh, like tables right here. And then this is like the kitchen in the back. And also this block is white terracotta. I'm taking all of this. This looks so good. Craig, I'm sorry, brother. I promise one day I'll return it. This is just all the terracotta that I know of. And it looks so good with this wood. This might be my new favorite combo. All right, now that we've taken all of Craig's uh, white terracotta, there should be like a uh, waystone thing, right? Somewhere around here. So I would really like to set like a waypoint here. I know I can move them, like pick those uh, uh, waystones up, but we only have one. <laughs> it's the one at my village. Ideally, I'd like to leave it there so I could teleport home if I ever need to. This one does not have one unless it's like inside the cave or something, which I doubt. My assumption is that this isn't like a full on village, but more so. So like, um, like a villager outpost in a way, because there's also only like two villagers here. Oh, but I also do see some pillagers on the map, not too far away as well in this direction. I love adventuring in this. This is way too fun to me. <laughs> How's it going, brother? You're going down. Okay. They should, yep. Have like a little pillager outpost thing. Howdy doodly. There should be, yep. One of these guys, a vindicator, I think. <laughs> Ooh, but some gold we will take. All right, back back on task. We need to go to the nether. I need to get some uh, some blaze rods. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the new nether portal at the ramen shop. Uh, that's what I'm going to call it because it's in a cherry blossom grove. Now let's light it up and hop on in and hopefully we'll be far enough away from the soul sand valley. Oh. It looks like we're literally on the other side of the bastion. Yeah, that's far enough away from the uh, Soul Sand Valley to me. Hmm, do I really want to cross this lava field? Also, that is a lot of obsidian. That looks terrifying, and I kind of want to go see it. What the heck? There's just an infinite amount of obsidian everywhere? Okay, we're kind of stranded on an island. I just don't know if I want to risk it near this thing. It's kind of terrifying. But the squids in the overworld are nice. So maybe these ones are nice. Or maybe what I need to do is get rid of it. You know what? We've been doing it this whole video. So might as well just let's see what they drop. Oh my God. Anyways, let's get some blocks. I need to get off this island. Yeah, 
And now that we got some blocks, let's bridge off the island onto the mainland. I just gotta be careful. I don't want one of those like kamikaze squids. Oh, or gas. I'm so nervous being in here. Just so much I don't know. All right, great. It looks like we're going in some sort of like hybrid soul sand valley thing. I'm sure 90% of this probably explodes. Okay, the vibes are changing. The music's different. There's different sound effects. I don't know what explodes or what's poisonous. If I start taking damage, I'm going to scream. This is some willow wood. So this is just some sort of new wood type. Oh my God. It's like one of these glow things. Ow, fire bad. And then that looks like normal, like uh, uh, warped wood. I just feel like it's so much harder to traverse in this. Let's jump in that lava. One of those kamikaze squid. What the? No, no, no. Is that one of those wither things? I can't tell. I can just only see the tail. You go up there and then we work together. He's making his way up there. Oh no, he's flying away now. Yes, it worked. <laughs> okay, so those things also apparently spawn in other biomes. Now, I don't really quite know where exactly I'm going, but judging based on the map, it's looking like this might just be a bust. Now, it looks like we're coming up to like obsidian land. Oh my gosh, what is this? What kind of block is that? Red sand? Okay, so you can get an abundance of red sand now. What is that? It's like a weird glass. Also, this place is a literal hell. Okay, I broke it and it falls in the lava. Awesome. Oh, it's called obsidian glass. Okay, it looks amazing. It's like the obsidian like portal stuff, but like an obtainable block, which in my opinion looks cool. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of this. Oh, it takes too long to mine. I'm getting shot by gas. I'm over it. Bro, this place... <laughs> I shouldn't have come here. This place is like a hundred times worse than the, the basalt biome. Okay, it's just getting worse. We're not going this way. We're backtracking. And by backtracking, I do mean going home. Well, not quite home, but like the ramen shop. Because one of these portals is going to work. I know it. That or we're just going to find really cool things along the way until uh, we do find a portal that works. Yo, leave me alone. I'm mining obsidian. This kind of works out, though, because now I get to go on an adventure. Like, for example, we got this, uh, what is it called? Badlands Miner Outpost. So we're going to find a Badlands for one, which is really cool. So I'm curious to see how they look inside, uh, inside better Minecraft and also all the biomes along the way. While also, you know, popping down another portal, popping in and hopefully not spawning into absolute chaos also what the heck dude there's a full-blown rhino right there why does he look so sad bro he just like me oh my gosh is this like an rl craft dungeon tower but first we're gonna go to the raft before we go anywhere near that giant tower thing mm-hmm yeah, someone starved here. Another and the end are on pause because we're about to hop in this bad boy. New objective. My only fear is that as it goes down, there might be, it might be filled with water and I don't want that. I'm hearing skeletons down in the water and it's freaking me out. All right, climb all the way up. Oh yeah, now this thing is, it's literally just a, a power tower, baby. Got some gold. Mm-mm. Uh, some prismarine blocks. No, thank you. More gold. We'll take that. Here, I'll put down some water so I can have a quick escape. So is this thing supposed to be like dangerous because it's just free loo right now? And sheesh, I ain't gonna complain. All right, job well done. Oh. oh my God, there's skeletons in the water and they swim. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense why I'm hearing these skeletons all of a sudden. That scared the crap out of me, by the way. We're boating away, we're not involved. Ooh, we got ourselves a little boathouse action. And judging by the map, it looks like we got a little villager in it. And he's got a kid. Wow, what a guy. He's taking his son out fishing. Good for you. And um, I'm going to go ahead and plunder your booty. Not quite literally, but I mean, you know what? Here. Oh my God. That's my boat. All right, nothing really of value. You guys kind of suck. Oh, this is a huge cherry blossom biome. I kind of regret not looking for a big one. Oh my gosh, it's one of those sky islands. Holy crap. All right, we're looting that. I did tell myself a long time ago that we are 100% going to loot one of those. And the time is nigh. I'm gonna gather up a bunch of blocks. And now I'm going to tower all the way up. Oh my gosh, this thing is way higher than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Oh, we're almost there here. I'm just going to use wood. Ah, yes. Now time to plunder your booty. I literally, we're underneath you. You know what? Now that I've realized it, this doesn't seem like it's enough resources to be worth climbing all the way to the top of this. I'm going to be honest. I think this is just like a big bait to waste your time and resource. I just use so many blocks. You know, if there's three diamonds, then I'll take it, but... Oh, there's actually a chest hidden in it. Okay, uh, and... <laughs> Those are, those are flowers and slow falling. 
Awesome. It's just what I wanted. Oh, there we go. More diamonds. Oh, that's actually beautiful up here. I'm going to pop this slow falling. We're going to jump off. Even though, I mean, there's literally water below me, but I just wanted to glide. Look at me. I'm running down the stairs. Ha 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 ha. I spy with my little eye a village, perhaps? Oh my gosh, this place looks awesome. I swear, this is a restaurant on the inside. It is. Hello, I have service. Okay, what do you got in here, huh? Conduit ruin map. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be chasing more maps. Here we go. Desert ruin map. Oh my gosh. And we're running out of inventory space. We made a mistake. See, what I'm hoping is that we could be able to find like another village and then we could just teleport home. But apparently, that's just too much to ask for. So it turns out you can craft a, a waypoint. I was curious. I wanted to look. Oh, wow. Literally two flint and an ender pearl. Next time I see an enderman, he's actually getting the hands. And you know what? It's already actually been a while. I should probably Meow. carry the snail. Why are you looking at me like that? But I should probably hop on into the nether so that we can be able to see if we're near a fortress or anything else that might be useful. Oh my gosh. This ain't a soul hey. sand valley. What? Did that just hurt me? Why is it every time I go in here, it just seems worse? <laughs> like these look like they explode. That thing bit me, bro. And I'm not seeing a fortress. Oh, what is this? It's a zombie pigment spawner. But is there anything useful in the... Oh my gosh, scared me. Nope, nope, nope. Oh my gosh, tons of gold. Saddle, ooh, a quiver. Where do I put the quiver? Oh, it just goes on my back. Okay, otherwise, nothing else. And as much as I'd like to say it's been a pleasure being in here, I think it's time we head back out and start making our way out. I do love that I'm pretty much just using this uh, this Badlands Miners map as like a waypoint of a place to achieve while along the way discovering new things. Oh, I see some villagers, but they're really far apart. I was gonna say they're probably on boats. Oh, except this one has pillagers. It looks like they got a villager trapped not on my watch what's up brother guys i could literally do this all day okay not literally i don't want to so if you guys could all just go away all right mr villager you are free to go enjoy your life thank you for your patronage that's what i thought oh here we go we got something else going on over here oh there's a pillager there so it's another pillager outpost oh except one has like a, a wizard hat oh, it's a witch i think it's a witch i think i hear it laughing oh what are you summon Fire. You're summoning fire. Dead. Oh, well, I killed the wizard. Um, all he dropped was a couple books. A little lame. Uh, unusual dust. Villager invasion. Whatever that means. Knockback efficiency protection. That's a decent book, too. My inventory's too full. I hate this. I want to go home. Like, for real, just like the next village we find. Like, I'm, I want to go home. For the first enderman we see on the map, I'm going straight to him. I'm going to take his balls, and then we're going to go home. Just discovered a new objective. I was wondering if I could be able to make a backpack of some sort, because then I could be able to obviously just carry all my stuff. There are a couple different backpacks that we could be able to wear. There are some rabbits on the map, so it's looking like we're going to be able to get a backpack cooking up i just need your uh your leather please don't fall in the hole Thank you. oh my gosh i literally see a wandering a wandering trader spawned where i was earlier i see him on the map Hold on, we're going back for him maybe he's got a backpack hello sir what do you have mm, nothing i don't think that's gonna really help me right now what other backpack is there is there yep there is one that takes regular leather Carl. All right, so all I got to do is craft up a chest and then put leather like that. And then I get a backpack. It's a baby backpack. It's a really small one. However, it'll still free up some space. Okay, there we go. Now I can wear it and we got a little backpack on. Honestly, I kind of like that this video just turned into 100 days, but I don't stop moving, basically. Uh, <laughs> can never settle down, never make a home. Speaking of home, it's looking like a house over here. Oh, Ooh jump um i don't think i want to we got some other little watchtowery looking thing tons of leather i could craft up a new backpack but other than that uh nothing else that's really good <laughs> we do have everything that we need to basically craft up a backpack just like so so then i could equip the backpack right and then how does that work there we go all i need to do is hit b and then it opens it up okay this thing is huge and it's most certainly gonna make traveling much nicer oh pillager oh wow yeah we got oh wow yep here we go what oh they got throwing axes and they hurt my oh, brother throw it oh you just killed your own boy um <laughs> Wait, but that means I didn't get the bad omen. I wanted the bad omen. So then we could do a raid and then I could get a thing, a totem. All right, well, the adventure continues. Oh my, oh my, what is that? There's more pillagers. Okay, just when I'm like, oh wow, maybe a village. Awesome. Nope, 
Okay, what's that now? Also, there's another thing back there. I love these different structures, but give me a village. Oh, what is he doing? Is he summoning the hurt? Don't show him the hurt. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. All right, let's go see what that summoner guy dropped. Oh, is that another one? Oh, he's got a shield. Yo, this guy plays Minecraft. Oh, well, do you know a shield breaks? Yeah, I PvP'd a couple times in my life. Was this some kind of wizard guy again? Or is this a villager? What the heck's happening? It's a villager that's turning into a... Never mind. I'm definitely getting the vibes that this is like an actual pillager Decided. outpost. Like an upgraded pillager outpost. And like each level's got something different. I just conjured a bow. Okay. What the heck is that? Just got some sort of special totem of illusion. Nani? Whatever that... What? Oh my god. We're getting out of here. That guy's, that guy's using magic. I'm scared. Okay, I think we're good. And we're chilling. Oh my god. He's like teleporting everywhere. Like an actual illusionist. This one right there. Is it like I gotta find the real one? Oh my gosh. Is there any more? I think we just took the place. Uh, potion of invisibility. That could come in handy. I will say this place looks beautiful. Not gonna lie. All right, Mr. Villager, you're free to go. And right, I gotta put this guy down. Okay, we're not. I see another villager on the map. Why am I getting literally everything but a village? It's a birch restaurant. Now, you guys know I'm... Mm, I got beef with birch. Definitely the worst of all the woods. Got ourselves some more maps. Ruined town map. Witch villa map. Wow, if this is literally right next door. It, I don't, it's not even on the map. The ruined town map though. Ooh, we're on the north south axis of it. So which means that's not that far away. And if it's a ruined town, that does mean that it is a village. And that means that it might have a teleporter. Yep, we just got a lot bigger on the map, which means that's not too far away. Got to make sure we check literally every single building. Because as of right now, it's not looking like there's a teleporter here and I am big sad. Oh my gosh, is this like a grave site? What is this? <laughs> yeah, this thing definitely wasn't a village either. This is a whole city. It's huge and for as big as it is no teleporter all right new plan we're officially gonna be heading back home and i'm definitely gonna teleport back because like yeah we're we're like 15,000 blocks away from home so i'm basically gonna gather up all the resources for a waystone we have plenty of stone for the waystone we have an emerald we have obsidian now all i need is this eyeball which i need flint and one ender pearl a single ender pearl which there's literally flint like uh right here there we go perfect gotta get this ender pearl we're obviously just gonna hop in the nether and either do trades with the pillager or just find an enderman and uh clap him up ourselves so let's hop on in or right, what kind of biome we in oh this is new this is very new what the heck it's like giant mushrooms holy crap oh my gosh then what's that is it a it's another one of those spawner things uh, it's a magma slime one that's lame okay but this is actually really dangerous because if a magma slime spawns inside of this and it's a big one it'll bounce off me like crazy but i will take all the gold and now we got almost a stack of gold so we should be able to easily get enough what the heck is that oh my gosh it's flying at me isn't it okay it's gone i don't know where it went down there <laughs> yeah, i didn't want the hands neither did i though so <laughs> now we got a prime suspect right here now all i need to do is somehow get him down into like a hole um here right here pal right here and down in the hole you go perfect all right now he'll do trades for me and hopefully give me an ender pearl Ooh, better yet we got other piggy boys right here now i got two piggy mans eventually and uh, now we got four ender pearls and a bunch of garbage <laughs> I will say so far, mushroom biome, definitely my favorite biome in the nether. Ooh, this is a treasure bastion. And while I'm here, I mean, I might as well loot this thing because I can easily get some like diamond gear and a bunch more gold out of it. I just got to be careful of piglin brutes. I need to make sure I give them the lava bucket. Yep, yeah, and now uh, he's over here, which means he... Oh, never mind. He did all the work for me. And now I just essentially do the exact same thing, but to all the other piglin brutes. Uh oh that's not good timing that's terrible timing that's terrible timing oh where'd that gas even come from it just it was that a hit and run i hear him but i don't see him and it's terrifying oh i don't know what's happening i'm scared i got a piglin brute next to me i got a gas thing screaming at me that i can't even see we're gonna i'm, I'm over it oh i just landed on something explosive also okay yeah no that's it <laughs> I'm good. All right, now, hopefully we should be able to craft this up. Obviously, I've never done this before. So I craft up one of these abyss watcher eyes. Then I think it goes just like that. And then I think nice. I could place it down and then we could teleport. Which 
This means that we are back home. Oh my gosh, what a long adventure that turned out to be. Now it's time to begin the next project, which uh, is the original plan, which was going into the other dimensions and stuff like that, because we got a lot of exploring that we still need to do in better Minecraft. But first things first, I want to build up like a platform that then I can be able to put all the portals on. So at least our base is keeping up to the aesthetics instead of just having a bunch of random portals all over the place. But I want it to be at the top of this hill right here, because then I'm going to attack like a bridge all the way across this canyon to the village but first we're gonna have to do a decent bit of terraforming there we go now that should be a plenty big enough area oh and then also we have a new sidekick he's helping us out he's selling some garbage he's not special don't worry about him but the platform just needs to be a nice big enough area to hold all the portals A little something like this. I don't want the platform to be perfect. I kind of want it to be a little bit oblong shaped. I'm thinking about, like I said, throwing a Tory gate up right here since I'm feeling pretty inspired after we found the ramen shop earlier. And then we'll just have all the portals kind of lined up right here along the middle of this. Middle-ish. Then we could just obviously expand it as we discover more portals. However, I'm just going to build up the portals I know of currently. And currently, the only portals that we do know of as of right now, I realize I want to move this one over. Um, But that that is the regular nether. Oh my gosh, I hate, I hate, mm, I hate obsidian. And there's also, it's too close. I want it to be like one block away. And the better nether, which I have no idea how to light this portal. And then also the, honestly, I don't even know what this, this one's called. I just know it's a portal that requires glowstone. And here, let's see. I know the, obviously the nether, you just light normally. This one, you also light normally. Okay, that's good. But this one, if I'm not mistaken, because I remember playing a mod ages ago, way back in the day, early Minecraft, that I required a water bucket. Nope. All right, well, this was uh, not nope. correct. Oh, well, it's not that either. So does it need the corners attached? Is that where I, uh, is that where I goofed? Does this one need the corners? And nope. Okay. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking of something else. Maybe I gotta like, uh, I don't know, play with the size or something like that. Maybe it needs to be a little bit bigger. And now, no, it's still not working. Okay, I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I gotta like unlock it or something. I don't know. But now I'm curious about going into this one. But before we do anything with these portals, one thing that I do want to do is kind of decorate around here a little bit. Like I said, I want to pop up Tory Gate. Maybe actually add also like a little bit of a garden over here. And add a bit of decoration, maybe some bamboo all over the place. The one thing I need to do is actually add these pink little leaves because unfortunately, for some reason, these trees, that even though the petals are falling, they're not sticking. It's upsetting me. I feel like that's partly why like uh, that biome over there looks so pretty. I just wish that biome was bigger and we could live in it. Regardless, now all I need to do is kind of create a little bit of like a beaten path that'll go from the portals, to the staircase going downward, and also having a staircase going up up in this direction where the bridge is going to be next to the pond. Don't worry, guys. I got a vision. It's I swear it's not going to be ugly this time. No, I say that every time. But this time's different. <laughs> Well, something like that should work for the pathway. Now to just build up the platform for the bridge. It's basically going to place down a bunch of stone in the ground. That should do it. Now all we need to do is build up the bridge. But first of all, I'm kind of running out of stone. So um, it's back to punching rocks for your boy. Now for the bridge, I'm definitely going to do a combination of stone and wood. This thing is going to be pretty chunky. I'm not going to lie. It's going to be fairly... Hello? I will say slabs in better Minecraft get me upset. He It made building the roof of my house take so much longer for no reason. Oh my God. We're going to start with an outside border that is made of stone. And there we go. Now we got the outline for the bridge all set up. Pretty much this is just going to be like the border for it. And then also on this side, I had to build up like kind of like a platform because I didn't realize that we're building into the, this wonky looking cliff side. So I just kind of set up some fences and stuff like that to look like it's supporting it up. Originally, I wanted to fill this in, but then I realized that's just going to take way too long. And uh, yeah, I'm way too lazy. So big old stone slab, a little bit of supports, and we're chilling. All I need to do is essentially just fill in the stairs and stuff 
Gosh dang, my brain. We're gonna just do pink all the way across. Oh my gosh, these slabs. <laughs> and now with the bridge all filled in, now we could add a bit of decorating, because if I'm not mistaken, these are technically other uh, pop slabs. Mm. Hmm, that kind of ruins the design. I thought I made these bottom slabs. However, we're still gonna roll with it because we just ball like that. No cap. By that, I mean, I'm just incredibly lazy and I don't want to rebuild things. Um, oh my God. Today I learned. I've been trying to like look in specific directions when I'm like on the side of it, but now I see that there's tiny little squares. What? and it's showing which direction they're gonna go. So there is like a border that you could go based off of. I was just kind of aiming top down, bottom left, right. Like I learned that, but I didn't realize that there was an actual outline for it. Okay, better Minecraft is kind of better, I'll be honest. But now what I wanna do is kind of add some posts. Don't worry, it's not gonna be floating. I'm gonna fill it in. And then what I wanna do is kind of create like a little bit of a gap underneath like that and just add some slabs like across the top, a little bit more texture and then also add some like gates in the middle of this build up the post a little bit more and of course slap some lanterns on here what what lanterns got extra cool hello we're doing that now instead Dude, better minecraft keeps hitting different i'll be honest and there we go now we just gotta uh do it to the other side um, there we go. Now we got matching sides. I also decided to add a little bit of uh, the trap doors on top to add a little bit more texture. Honestly, I think it turned out pretty snazzy. I'm not going to lie. I like it. And also the villagers have been coming over here to check it out. I realize this is a new trade route. They don't realize that they're going to be getting kidnapped. Except for you. You're too tough looking. I ain't going to... I'm gonna mess with you. Now that that bridge is out of the way, next thing up is the Tory Gate, which I'm gonna need a decent bit more wood for. I also wanna grow more trees around here as well, now that I think about it. So give me all these sappies. I do want this Tory Gate to be fairly large, kind of fill up a lot of this over here. So my thing is, I'm thinking about making it like a four by four all the way up into the sky. How does that look? Does it? Yeah, that no, looks fine. And I'm making it out of the cherry grove wood because it's inspired by the ramen shop that we found earlier. Then at the very top up here, we're gonna have to, first of all, make it a little bit bigger. And then we need to kind of create this outward pointing pattern. I'm literally going based off memory, by the way. So, <laughs> hope this turns out good. And going across the top is going to be some planks all the way. And we'll use like stairs and slabs to create kind of like some texture to it. Kind of like this. We could also use some like slab. Oh my gosh, I hate slabs. There we go. Now I think the top is looking pretty snazzy, but it does need uh, something along the legs. These just look like really tall stilts. What I'm gonna do is just probably like add some fences all the way up the legs like this. Oh yeah, that looks pretty snazzy actually. That'll help a lot. And then I'll probably do some all the way across the middle. Can I, oh, blast up. I feel like Spider-Man right now doing this. And there we go. So now we finally got our Tory gate all set up at the very tippity top of the mountain. Now, honestly, I'm loving building with the cherry blossom wood. I didn't know I'd like it this much. It's turning out to be like one of my favorite woods to be able to build with. But the major upgrade to the base area is now complete. We got our nice little pond. We got our portal. We got our Tory gate. We got the bridge to the village. But with all the building out of the way, now it's time to begin our next adventure, which is hopping into the better nether. I don't know. I'm worried. I don't know what's on the other the side of this i'm just a little bit oh my axe is broken hold on it's got one hp hold up got swaparoo while making this axe i am realizing that that is pretty much the last of my diamonds and i still don't even have like full diamond gear either and i also know that there is other armors in the game which recently i was looking into crystallite i haven't even seen what a crystallite is a turnium I don't even like turnips, but I'd wear that armor. I have no idea how to get any of that. I don't know better Minecraft, and that's what we're here to discover. So we're going to hop into the nether and see if that leads us down the rabbit hole and maybe getting cool stuff or or dying. I might die. Oh my God, my wandering trader went in here. Oh, so it's just a nether portal? Bruh. You're kidding. It's a better nether. Ain't nothing better about it because we still got those ugly things. Oh my gosh, there's no way. There's no way. We have to put it down. Otherwise, they're going to keep shooting at me. Leave me alone. Finish him. Stop fighting back. Okay, we got him under control. I'm not afraid of those things anymore. Okay, we need to find a fortress, actually. I want to go to the end, and I want to slay the dragon, and I want to get an elytra. And obviously, to do that, we're going to have to get some blaze rods. I don't know where to get them other than a fortress. Oh, my God. 
I want to kill that guy so bad. He looks so cool. After a quick pit stop at home, now we got plenty of food. We got a bow instead of a crossbow and a fresh shield. And we're ready to actually adventure in the nether. And we're going to go far. We're going to go deep in this thing and hopefully find blazes and or blaze rods. One or the other. The goal is to just mindlessly run around until we find what we come here for, pretty much. Ooh, maybe one of those is a blaze spawner. Dang it, that's literally right next to my portal. I gotta go all the way back around. Ooh, hold on a second. What is that, actually? It doesn't look healthy, whatever it is, but I want it. Ooh, it's like rubies. Ruby ore. I think there's ruby armor. I didn't know rubies you get out of the nether, though. I've yet to see those. A spawner thing should be somewhere around here-ish. Oh, there it is. Now we got the spawner thing. What's inside? More magma cubes. Oh, I'm being shot at by this stupid... Whatever the heck things. Ow. Ow. It weathered me. Dead. Oh, clapped him up. However, the adventure continues until we find a fortress. Luckily, even though we're in a soul sand valley, I can easily outrun these guys. Oh my gosh, why are they spawning in front of me now? Bro, you guys are in front of the way that I want to go. Ugh, it's so hard to see their stupid attack. Oh my gosh, dude, they spawned in pairs. They coupled up now. Oh my God, we finally got a fortress. I see it. I hope this is act. Yeah, it's... Oh, whoa, it's like castle -y. Oh my God, the Enderman scared me. Just gotta be careful. Don't get knocked in the lava. I mean, we're chilling. I do have a fire resistance potion. We came prepared, but these dumb idiots... Oh, there's nothing better Minecraft about these things. Oh, and then we got like a little baby bastion thing again. Oh, a little respawn anchor. That's what this is. That's kind of neat. Too bad we're in hardcore and... Yeah, it won't really help. Okay, back on task. We're going to the fortress. Nice and easy entrance. <laughs> give me blaze rods or give me death. Please not death, though. Oh, I see some blaze, boys. Yes! No! Ow! They burned me through the shield! Okay, this, this ain't working. Let's test this. Okay, yeah, so fire goes straight through the shield. That's fine, because we got fire resistance. Oh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> Valiant effort by you guys. The fire resistance rules all. Ooh, a little upgraded bow in this watchtower. And while I'm getting blaze rods, I'm going to try to loot every chest that we find because the loot might be a little swanky in this castle. Oh my gosh, there's so much to explore in this thing. This is like the, the heart of the castle, though. This is like the main room thing. Ooh, diamond. Uh, piece of iron. Another piece of iron. This place is so cool. This just made the nether way more tolerable, I'll be honest. All right, come on now. Like, I'm a part of the six foot club, but like this thing is huge, bro. So we're at like the highest point of the castle now. I keep calling it a castle, but yeah, we all know it's fortress, all right? Oh, God. Dead. Dead. All right, we're fine. We're calm, cool, and collected. Okay, what did that just... I, I wasn't even close to dying. Why'd that go off? Hello? Um, who's that guy? I'm a little bit nervous. That's me, right? Is that supposed to be me causing a distraction? Because it ain't working. Why did that go off all of a sudden? I was wearing that totem and it never did anything until now. Ooh, looting sword. We'll take that. Yeah, the loot at the top of the castle is kind of mid, I'll be honest. Nothing really that special. Oh my god, there's like a million of these wither skellies though. We're going down. There's gotta be wither skelly spawners up there. However, I will say... Ow. Thank you. I will say the exploration of this is very fun. We only need a couple more blaze rods and then we're done here. All right, we got plenty of blaze rods now to be able to actually go home and find the uh, the end. All right, I need to figure out how to get home from here. I think it was somewhere around here that I jumped in at. It'd be like right here, actually. Yeah, and then I go around to the Soul Sand Valley. Whew. All right, we're going home. And now that we're back from the nether with an empty inventory, kind of, because I have this Soul Star thing and I don't know what this is and I don't know. Oh. It says, where does it lead? Bosses of mass destruction in beta. So it's like a beta boss. And I'm an alpha dog. So like, does he want that mode? Okay, either way, we're not doing that right now. <laughs> and also, I don't know if that thing breaks like ender eyes. And also the other thing is, yeah, we do technically have enough rubies to make like a pair of pants, boots, or helmet. And if I'm not mistaken, ruby armor is like the same amount of defense as like diamonds. So I'm going to run and do that or ruby pants. So now my pants are on fire. I actually looks such a cool outfit. I look like a superhero with this like yellow and red. Now I want like a full ruby suit though before the end of this video so we got to go to the end though so let's craft up some eyeballs and let's set off on this adventure and the first eyeball is gone all right sick love myself <laughs>
Oh yeah, baby, you get to use the bridge finally. First official use for a real purpose. All right, now that that's behind us, we got a long adventure. <sighs> Leaving the Shire. <laughs> Actually memes, what the... finally going backwards it took long enough literally like almost 5,000 blocks away from home but hey we're finally there ish my gosh don't tell me that this thing's literally about to be like underneath the village i threw an eye when i went to this swamp village right here psych okay yeah so i literally i know exactly where this bad boy is about to be i dig down right here on this island i gotta be careful actually i should dig two by two however this works out though because that means that that swamp village is literally right next to the stronghold so if i need to go to the end ooh, blue uh cobblestone whatever this stuff is anyways back to what i was saying village is literally right next to the stronghold which is huge as long as i don't drown i'm just gonna plug that up and dig slightly to the side probably have a water bucket primed and ready just in case if uh fall into like a uh, giant ravine or something Oh, here we go. We finally hit it. Oh, there's skeletons. Oh. Okay, we gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. We gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Fight it out. Fight it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? I knew it. Okay. <laughs> I just got really nervous. Clear out some inventory space here. Need to have torches primed and ready. This is supposed to be the better stronghold, which means it's supposed to be better in every possible way i'm slightly worried that there might be traps or something i'm getting very trappy vibes in this thing surprise mother uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh there's skellies with swords there's clearly a spawner that spawned these guys i just watched them literally spawn in right in front of me and then there was a creeper in this room place down torch please on oh, dog what's up what's up with it okay, i gotta torch it up in here okay here's that spawner aha i knew there was a creeper around the corner Okay, I want to torch up the spawner. Also, we got a diamond out of that. Sheesh, say less. All right, we keep moving. We keep moving. We keep moving. Oh my. Oh my God. This room is sick. Bunch of dragon heads on the wall and stuff. Okay, we keep moving. I, I'm doing this trick where you just, uh, as long as you keep the wall on your right side, you'll eventually run through the entirety of this thing. Daylight? Oh, this is where we dropped in at. Bro, there's no way. What? I went that way. Wait, what's in this? This is that giant corridor thing, but upstairs. Okay, yeah, so I took the stairs back up. All right, yeah, I know I know where the strategy went wrong. It wasn't me, I swear. Okay, regardless, we're just gonna mindlessly run through this thing. Bombs, baby. I'm trying to use my mini map. I actually see the outline of this thing on the mini map. Like right here, there's literally another room. I'm running low on torches, but we're gonna go down the creepy staircase and see where this takes us. Some sort of dining room thing with cookies. Oh my gosh. Is this what the library is now? Okay, maybe I can find some chests and maybe those chests will have coal in them. And I can craft up more torches because I can't see anything. Chest number one. Protection, fire aspect. That's not too shabby. Oh, we got ourselves a spawner. Oh, oh. I don't know what kind of spider that is. It's a regular one. Okay. Whew. Thanks for lighting up my room. Got a fancy gold block right here. Don't mind if I do. Wait, what is that sound? I'm hearing like a big, a big moany groany. Bro, what is that sound? Okay, I think I see the portal now. Ooh, we got some other rooms, though. With some swords and stuff. Like a little smelty room. Ooh, coal. Perfect. Oh, lots of coal. Never mind. <laughs> it was like, for the most part, it's all dookie. Ooh, actually, hold on. I take that back. Listen, there's also an anvil in here, and there was a protection uh, book inside. Of oh, my God. What is wrong with those creepers? No, 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 no. They're special. They're special and weird. I don't know what the what was going on with them. Okay, they were mossy. Okay, that was that was scary. I didn't know what that. Oh, all right. Going back to that book. <laughs> Should be right in here. Has protection three. This one had fire aspect and sharpness. There's got to be another book on the other side then. Now that I got torches, I can actually explore it. Bro, what is that? That's what's moaning and groaning up there. I'm so scared. I don't want to let it out, but I'm so curious. It's inside the amethyst. It's a living amethyst? Yeah, it's like a giant amethyst thing. 
kind of want to kill it. It's like an amethyst golem. Sorry. <laughs> We're just playing what does it drop, you know? We've been playing it all video. Okay, it doesn't look like uh, amethyst golem drops literally anything. Ooh, I found a little hidden chest. Efficiency looting. Looted. What? <laughs> Smite piercing. I will take paper, though. Bro, I'm about to make this stronghold my house. Ooh, another little hidden chest. Efficiency, knockback, all sorts of goodies. Marksman, fire aspect. All right, nothing else. That's good. And it seems like that's it for the chest that I found. But now that we got this stuff, we could obviously, like I said, upgrade our gear. Like I could throw efficiency or I could get looting one, but we're going to roll with efficiency for sure. Then on my ruby pants, I'm going to throw on protection. So we are always protected down there, you know. <laughs> then for the sword, let me grab a uh, fresh one real quick by just uh popping it off the wall and then we should get sharpness and fire aspect otherwise i think we're primed and ready to go on Ooh, we got another one of these doors nope yep mm -hmm. you can stay in there and now the moment is time right, hold on let me do that mm. <laughs> and now the time has come to slay can I gotta spawn? All right. To slay the dragon and hop in the end to the better end. Look, I'm gonna keep it a buck. This room, fantastic looking. It is better Minecraft. There's literally cool statues holding swords. I didn't realize that. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Let's fill this thing all the way up real quick. Boom and bow. Also, I really want to try out these bombs. Do I like throw them or is it like, uh, you know what? Let's, let's give it a try real quick. All right here, we're gonna throw it in this room. Yeah, that's a, that's a firecracker. All right, anyways, I got limited arrows. We're gonna jump in. Oh my God. Okay, so it spawns me on like a safe little platform. Luckily, I do have blocks. Blessed. What is that? Judging by the map, the main island still only has regular endermangs, which is good. You know what? Before we get into this dragon fight, I wanna know what this is. Raw thalcium. Thal 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 thalassium. I swear, people be making up the craziest words. Okay, so because it's raw, obviously that means that you could cook it. But does cooking it mean that I get armor of some sorts? Oh wait, I have blaze rods. Hello. Boom. So it creates an ore or an ingot rather. I'm an idiot. Okay, and then now can I like make some boots? Nope. Wait, I could make rope and nail out of out of these. Okay, I can. Oh, it's like a. Uh, Trap door. Okay, so it's like more of a building block. Oh, oh wait, there are weapons and and what? Forged. Oh my gosh. Okay, so you gotta forge it now. No idea how to do that. <laughs> okay, we're done with this. We're killing a dragon. Although I'm not hearing a dragon flying around. Okay, all the end crystals are right here. Oh, it summons the dragon in. This is so scary. This is getting my nerves going. Oh, that's so cool. How am I going to destroy those, though? These There's so much stuff in the way. And now the dragon spawns in. Yep, there's the dragon. Okay. This is going to be hard. I don't have that many arrows. What? Oh, first try, baby. Never mind. It's not hard. Boom. What? Second try immediately. And pop. We're nuts. All right. Yeah, it's over. Oh, my gosh. I'm a bit nervous because I actually don't know how this, uh, this dragon's going to, you know, land. Oh, it lands on top of the building. Is there like a staircase to get up there? Oh my God. Get away from me, dude. What the heck? And here we go. This should be the last one. Oh my God. No, 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 no. Okay. We got to drop. I pick up our water. I need to figure out how this middle thing works. Okay. So there is a staircase that goes up and then I slay the dragon right here. This is terrifying. Oh, is it landing right now? So soon? Oh my God. Okay, I can hit it from right here. Gotta be calm, cool, and collected. Take my time. I just, I don't need to go any higher than that. In the meantime, I could use the last couple of my arrows. Just a bada bing, bada boom. There we go. <laughs> this feels like the longest dragon fight of my life, by the way. All right, we're officially out of arrows. It's chalked, it's over. Well, I mean, this dragon's cooked. Oh, bro, he already landed. I wasn't even ready. Frick, I'm on my way, dragon. Hold on, slow down. Oh, she's gone. Oh my. <clears throat> Oh my, that should be illegal. Bro, that dragon literally just flew straight through the middle of it. Literally survived with one heart. <laughs> Here we go, big damage. I want to jump crit, but I'm so nervous. Oh, it's so close. No, don't fly away. I'm nuts, I'm nuts, I'm nuts. All right, Whew, that got me sweating again. Bro, this is the hardest dragon fight I've ever had too, not just the longest. I'm actually working for this one. Here we go, this is it. Dragon's coming in for the landing. Oh, dragon, you've made a mistake. 
Terrible, terrible mistake. The dragon is slain. All right, now give me all that green juice. Oh, no. Wait, how do I get back up there? <laughs> Gotta build a staircase, bro? Come on now. Bro, these nuggets better be juiced. They're not. <laughs> I feel like I should be getting way more XP than this, but you know, it's, it's okay. Because we slayed the dragon. It's a time to celebrate. Wait a second, what was that? What the heck, bro? It's a sky whale. I don't know what that thing's doing. There we go. We got a portal right there that we could be able to then go out to the better end, which I have been to the better end in the past on another channel called The Mob. Only the OGs know about The Mob, and I know we've been asked about it a lot, and we will be bringing it back. Don't worry. I st I'm still keeping to that promise. We do still want to do it. It just it kind of requires me buying a whole new house to do it. What? I know that doesn't make sense, but regardless, now let's just build up to that portal. And now we can hop in. However, we do only have two days left. It is day 98. I don't even know how long into the day it is. But we're basically just going to spend the rest of the time in the outer ends, exploring it and really soaking it in. So let's jump on in. Nani? Awesome. Yeah, I don't have very many blocks on me. So I really hope I don't got to build anywhere. Kind of blue. It's just ice. That's all this is. Looks like we got something down here. That looks like a structure. That's it's an end ship, but it's a special end ship. Hold on. We're going to. Is there anything down there that's going to kill me? I don't think so. We're going to go ahead and pearl. Nice. Wow. Wow. Chest. Oh, it's empty. Wow. Oh, look. Wow. I didn't know I had that. Can't open it. Awesome. Wow. Wow. I'm piloting a ship. Wow. Big trees. Wow. Dumb slime. Wow. Very bright. Oh, God. Oh, uh. wow. Pearl. Ow. Ow. Wow. Oars. Wow. Creepy forest. Those places terrify. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, wow. Ow. Wow. Wow. Bruh. Wow. Okay, it is day 99. The sun, the, the the sun's about to come up. Okay, we're not gonna pull this. All right, we're not pulling this. That's 100 days, baby. And if you enjoyed that, um, <clears throat> we have to do a, a new one. We can't really continue this world. But um, uh, yeah, no, that's that's um, awkward.